Hello, church. May you be blessed today and hope you have a wonderful day. We're studying today out of Psalm 136, and this is a title, Thanksgiving to God for His Enduring Mercy. Psalm 136 is a special psalm with each one of the 26 verses repeating the sentence or phrase, His mercy endures forever. And the sentence is used several other times in the Old Testament, each time in the context of some kind of public praise or declaration. And if I was going to picture this, I would imagine this as a group of, or a multitude of people in the temple courts, and a priest or Levite would call out a reason to give God thanks, and his people would respond, for his mercies endures forever. In Jewish tradition, this particular psalm has been called the great psalm of praise. And as we start out here in verse 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good beyond all others. Indeed, alone he is good in the highest sense. He is a source of goodness, the good of all good, the sustainer of good, the perfecter of good, and the rewarder of good. For this, he deserves the constant gratitude and praise from his people. And the second line of verse 1, as all the other verses end, for his mercies endures forever. And this declaration proclaims that God's mercy never ends and will always be given to his people. What a wonderful blessing. A wonderful uh, God. He is so good. Mercy is the Translation of the great Hebrew word, which may be understood as God's grace, his loyal love, his covenant love unto his people. And in the first three verses, it gives uh, the reasons to praise him. And then in starting in uh, verse four through nine, it talks about causes for praise. And the first of all, it mentions creation in those verses. And then in 10 through 15, it's the deliverance. And of course, it mentions the Exodus um, and his deliverance of the children of Israel out of Egypt. And uh, then it goes into his caring gifts for us and ends in the last four verses talking about praising him for what he does for us. Oh, yes, his mercies endures forever. Oh, how wonderful that is. He will always love and cherish his people. As Brother Josh said the other day, they are a treasure to him. May God bless you and lift you up, and may you have a wonderful day in the Lord.